welcome to another video of Montana Haven Alaska edition and this here is Autumn and Autumn is our house puppy our Australian Labradoodle as you know we do raise Australian Labradoodles and we just want to talk with you a little bit about that we've got something a little special for you today the good news is that we do have some puppies available and they're going to be Christmas puppies dogs are one of those amazing things that fill the needs in our life so when we're lonely we need companionship maybe your children are begging for a new pet somebody like autumn here perhaps your dog or pet is old or is recently passed um, i want to talk with you a little bit about our our breeding our kennels um, and a little bit about our australian labradoodles so we've been raising dogs for a long long time yep good girl autumn and uh uh, something about the Australian Labradoodle that makes it unique to uh, other breeds is uh, you've probably heard of Labradoodles and what's the difference between a Labradoodle and an Australian Labradoodle? A Labradoodle is just basically somebody took a poodle and a lab and crossed them and then you get a Labradoodle. Um, and you never know what you're going to get actually when you do that. Uh, sometimes they, most times they will be shedding. Uh, sometimes they'll look like a, a Labrador. Sometimes they'll look like a poodle. Sometimes they'll act like one or the other. Uh, but the difference between that a Labradoodle and an Australian Labradoodle is Australian Labradoodles are actually, um, have been bred. They started back in the uh, 90s and they, they were um, first bred in Australia. And that's why they, um, they're called Australian Labradoodles. And um, they're, they're a lot calmer. They have a much calmer disposition in autumn you'll see that she loves to go hunt hiking with us. She loves to um, go on um, different, um, she loves to go outside, but she'll be here with me all day and just lay on my, my lap or at my feet all day if I'm around and she just loves companionship. A few of the other benefits of the Australian Labradoodle is they are actually non-shedding. So that makes it really nice. Uh, Autumn does not shed at all. We don't find any hair at all in the house and that just makes my wife Priscilla really happy and it makes me happy too. Uh, so they're also hyperallergenic which means they don't, uh, people with allergies, we've specifically, uh, families have bought puppies from us because their children may have had allergies or they've had allergies and they've had no trouble with that. So that's really a big plus uh, for the Australian Labradoodle. Also, we've sold a number of puppies to families that have used them as service dogs. They've trained them for a number of different uh, service type applications from like alert dogs to where if people are having um, like an asthma attack or um, diabetic uh, instances, different things like that. So they're actually really good dogs uh, for even a service type dog. So they come in medium, miniature and standard size and the puppies that we have right now are like a, a large medium, a kind of medium to a large medium. The dad is about 32 pounds, the mom is 45 pounds, so they fall somewhere in that category. It takes a lot of time and effort to actually um, have a dog that we consider uh, is worth breeding. We do a lot of testing on them, DNA testing. We actually offer a two-year health guarantee with all our puppies, actually up to three years. If you choose to feed uh, Life's Abundance dog food. It's a high quality dog food that we use and that we recommend. If you end up using that, we give you an extra year, so up to three year health guarantees on all your puppies. And all our dogs every day get a new vet vitamin, multivitamin every day. So here's the Life's Abundance dog food. And I think this little girl is Sparkles is wanting to have some Life's Abundance. Um, but here's the dog food that we feed. We feed them all Life Stage dog food. And it's a little bit more spendy than normal, normally you would find uh, in the grocery store. It can be. If you buy, we usually buy it in 40 pound bags versus these this size. Uh, but our dogs are healthier. They eat less and they poop less. So that's really nice. So this is what we feed our dogs. And I'll include a link below. These are the new vet uh, vitamins that I feed that we feed every day. These are wafers, so they get one a day and they love it, it's like a treat. And this is actually a powder that we uh, mix with their food and that's we give this to the puppies. So they actually start off with these. Uh, it's a natural daily canine supplement. So I highly recommend that you use these for your dog if you want a healthy dog. 
So Labradoodles are extremely intelligent. Let me show you a few of the things that, um, that they can do. Autumn knows a lot of tricks and let's see if she'll do some for us today. Autumn Sheik, good girl. Yeah, I did good girl. Okay. Yeah. Autumn, lay down. Good girl, stay. Roll over. Good girl, Autumn. Yeah, good girl. Okay. Good girl. Okay, it's time to show you the puppies. Now, Twilight had six puppies. There's four girls and two boys. And here they are. They're in our, our home playing around on the carpet and just having a good fun time. And our puppies are old enough to go home at about eight weeks of age. Um, sometimes they're mature enough a little bit earlier, but we, we try to keep them right at eight weeks of age. And a lot of people want to know um, how difficult is it to know their personality or how can you, can I buy one based on personality? And I, I always, from my experience, from doing this a long time, sometimes puppies will have a little bit of a different personality, but most of the time, if you raise them with love from the, t from the time we have them until they're eight weeks old, the key is going to be how you end up raising them yourself. And you can, you can raise them to be a perfect dog or you can, um, if you, don't raise them properly, they can turn out bad. So the key is really on how you raise them. So what I've seen is these Australian Labradoodles, they just blend in really well with their environment, whether it's a single person or perhaps it's a family. Um, either way, they just do an amazing job of just fitting in the lifestyle that you have. It's time to talk about how do you get one of these puppies and take it home with you, all right? Because I know that's what you're wanting to know. So first of all, we have a Christmas special going on and I've not done this before, but this is something that I'm going to do for you. If you get on our website right away and you can either click on the link in the description box or go to MontanaHavenLabradoodles.com and fill out the form and each person that gets a puppy has to apply for the puppy. We want to make sure they go to good homes. So fill out an application, get that sent to us and we're going to give, if you end up getting one of these puppies, we're gonna give you $200 credit towards shipping the puppy or travel expenses for you coming, getting the puppy, or just basically getting the puppy to you. So we're gonna give you $200 credit. We're gonna give you $50 towards your first bag of Life's Abundance dog food for the puppy. And the first three people that get a puppy will get an additional free three month supply of the NuVet multivitamins. And this is more than a $55 bonus. Uh, so all in all, you're getting over a $300 uh, discount that we'll give you towards your first puppy. So there's three ways to get the puppy. The best way that we recommend is actually coming to Montana to our airport and picking the puppy up and flying in cabin with the puppy or driving is another option. The second option is we've shipped puppies all over the United States and world actually. I've never had any trouble with that at all. Very safe. They, uh, they're very good to, to work with. The other option is we can actually deliver the puppy to you as well. So that's uh, of course a little bit more expensive because we have to, to go with the puppy, but that's an option if we do that sometimes for folks. So here's what you need to do. Go click on the link or go to the website, fill out the form. And if you want to make a deposit to secure your puppy, you can do that. I asked for a $50 deposit and deposits will hold your place in line, in order. So puppies are chosen in order of deposits. So if you get your deposit in, you're gonna be closer to the front of the line to pick a puppy. And if we get more deposits than what we have puppies for, your deposit is good for a future litter. And we have some more puppies coming up later, hopefully. So I look forward to getting your application and talking with you very soon. God bless you.